Welcome collective, it's the Rainbow Wizard. I hope you're doing amazing. Um, I will be doing a reading. It is the 23rd of May, it's a Thursday. We are in Gemini season. Happy birthday to anyone that is celebrating your birthday. So uh, looking forward to do your reading. Uh, please like, subscribe. Appreciate your comments as well. For those of you that ever followed the cat, the cat is doing very well. Uh, we think that the cat have found himself a girlfriend because he spent a lot of time away now. Uh, it's just, well, it's, it's not far away, it's across the road. <laughs> the cat has met a, a, a white, a bright white female cat, so he's very happy. Uh, so even cats act like teenagers, even if he's 15 years old, he actually looks like he's two years, cat years old, I mean. <laughs> he's very happy, he leaves the house with his tail up in the air, go across the, <laughs> go across to his, uh, his new date. So it's very sweet to, to, to see, well, I'm not there, but I get pictures, so yeah. <laughs> That's the cat update. Um, I don't know if any one of you have cats or any pets, uh, I do love pets. So, okay, let's just dive into your reading, shall we? Um, collective and see what is uh, in your energy what's coming up uh, as well there's been a bit of crazy energies hard to even interpret so let's see what's coming up <laughs> it's been like really good but then there is some really yeah there's a, there's been like something i haven't really <laughs> been able to get my head around but i hope this one is straightforward smooth sailing okay oh no the death card there's a lot of death cards it's uh, but it's good you know transformation it's you know when the death card comes up this way it's Things that were dead are no longer dead is coming to life again. So this could be friends coming back from, uh, you know, they haven't spoken to. This could be someone just reappearing in your life again. Lovers, uh, that's reuniting, I'm getting as well. Someone is on a distance. They want to reunite with you. Um, also coming you know, out of Taurus season, Aries season, I think there was a lot of force in terms of things got brought too heavy down to earth. Um, I know there is a, the 3rd of June, is it? The six planets that's aligned or there are some kind of um, parades, planet parade, isn't it? Um, yeah, that sounds amazing. <laughs> that sounds amazing. But uh, yeah, got a lot to look forward to. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of Gemini season. So, so far, so good. All right. All right. So there's a person here in your reading. They're on a distance. This person could have newly become single or that that's their plan. This person could have fire elements in their chart. Now, in the past, this person have, um, you know, got you stuck in their in your head, this person could have played games. Um, this person could have come in with a small offer. There is something about them not giving you what you would need in order to, um, you know, move forward as well. But the final outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. It can also be that there's good, um, it's good for business, okay? Good for finances, good for career, work, and it can also be a solid offer from someone. Um, let's dive into your reading um, and we're gonna look into this person first. Now, I am picking up a few a few people that could show up in your energy here. Uh, we'll take one at a time. So someone is showing up in this end. Um, let's see, this is a new person, old person, past person, or someone you haven't met yet. Uh, you be the judge of that. Um, I just feel that in your energy at the moment, there is someone that you want to reconnect with. I feel that it's someone you are... Because when you get the um, Six of Cups here after the death, it's also okay. I feel like connecting with someone. Or I, I'm happy to hear from someone. It's not like, oh my God, don't contact me. There is something that is resurfacing. There's something that is coming back to life that you are like, oh, I thought that was dead done and over with okay um so this energy here okay you might be dealing with someone with virgo in their chart this person uh, they have leo in their chart this person they put you on a pedestal they they could have had a time out here this could be because they had one foot in one foot out the door elsewhere this person have not moved on if they've been away from your life they have not moved on this person you make them very happy they feel like a, like my cats maybe in love when they think of you but there there's a lot of fire here they are like very this person is someone that they they give themselves momentum and then they they come back and there's they're going to have some momentum about them so when you hear from this person this person will be very happy they will give you a lot of attention uh this person yeah they definitely they definitely want to rekindle here uh collective so it, it i believe it's someone you want to hear from i don't 
feel this. This particular energy is not someone that you've had a, a long haul relationship that didn't work out. And this is like, oh no, there's something happy. So this can also be, there's someone that together you feel like teenagers or together you feel like, oh, I can't wait to see this person. It is that type of energy. So how long you have known this person for? You will know it's not really about the, the length here. It's about how you make each other feel. You make each other feel like, oh, there's it's suddenly you feel happier when you wake up in the morning. They feel happier. It's that type of energy this person is presenting. They do value you. They do put you on a pedestal. This person, they also want to take things slowly. But at the same time, they are so excited to connect with you, reconnect with you, uh, that you're going to tell, <laughs> you're going to be able to tell like they might not be able to contain their excitement should you, um, you know, actually connect with them. Okay. Um, okay. So you might have water elements in your chart. Um, maybe Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. What is uh, showing up in your energy? So, uh, what's happening in your closest surroundings collective? And what is, why I'm, I don't know why I'm leaning over like that. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> that wasn't necessary. <laughs> okay, I'm clearly a bit tired. Um, so, yeah, something that you've been waiting, hoping, feeling like, okay, I, am I stuck in my head here for no reason? Is that because I have had high expectations? Why is this coming up? So someone that been thinking about you, you've been thinking about them, but you feel like, okay, that's just in your thoughts. It's probably nothing. Uh, and you could have even had some sorrows and stress about it. Uh, there will be good news in regards to the situation. Someone that you've had time out with here, they are going to contact you. So that's good news. Oh God. Um, this person have been trying to sort something behind the scenes. Uh, there's been a reason why they couldn't connect with you, couldn't come forward, but you might have just felt that time's running out uh you know that something can't be rushed but it's something about yeah the sun is coming out the last minute boom yeah this is good this is good okay so what i'm picking up here okay collective so for most of you this is a new connection or this is not someone you've had you know, 10 years relationship and someone cheated on you and it was a terrible ending and someone has you know, been up, running after you for a long time and you don't want to see this person or the other, other way around. I don't feel it's, this is not the energy I'm picking up. I'm picking up that you do know each other. You have been around each other for a long time, but not necessarily in a relationship. Uh, I don't feel like this has been a situation where someone has done you dirty. You have done them dirty. There could have been something to do with not being straight up and honest, but I don't see any kind of, um, I don't see this is not a the reading for if someone like you've had really experienced like let's say heartbreak uh like deceit really badly and that happened so much that you do not trust someone i feel this is not it so i just wanted to say that but it's something new something that started but didn't get off the ground it started like it's like it's like a feeling of, oh, this is exciting, but someone have not spoken the truth about how they feel. They could have just uh, pretended that like, it's like, oh, we are friends or it's something about not being open about each other's feelings or that there is anything. This could be uh, a long-term friendship even. Uh, it's something like that. It has that flavor to it. It has that, oh, uh, someone here might have expressed some feelings to you, but they had a foot in their door elsewhere. They are sort of the way they've expressed, giving you attention. They could give you attention in some kind of, they're, it's clear that they are favoring you. And then there's been a timeout because someone here have realized that they have feelings. It's more than a friendship. It's more than uh, something that is flirtatious. So it's more than whatever it is. This is someone that's very intellectual, very smart. They're very all about the truth. 
uh, this is someone that is quite serious when it comes to feelings. They are like not someone that will uh, come out with their feelings and tell you what they feel if they don't plan to move forward. So that could frighten this person. You are questioning here, okay, what is this? Um, uh, is this is this what I think it is? And I think that you feel your hands are tied. And for most of you, you could feel that, okay, it's like you're quite easy going with it all. You're not really uh, putting your eggs in a basket for it. But I see that when you hear from them and when you get certain reaction, when you get a certain approach from this person, I see that you will feel happy. You feel excited. You will feel like, oh, yes, it is worth uh, you know, it was worth waiting or it was worth having the time out as well. It's something that will come up that, okay, it's, like, it's okay that this time out happened. Because for many, this might be just something that started and it felt like quite overwhelming. And you had to go and figure out what are your feelings, uh, even to do with people from like other, other options or other situations in love I'm getting. Because this right here if that takes off it's kind of everything and i'm getting as well um i'm getting this uh, lyrics from a song that i will not sing it's not a famous song or anything like it's not a commercial kind of song but i'm getting um the lyrics uh it's all for you everything i do is all for you no it's not brian adams that one it's uh it's the lyrics that i heard too it's kind of like a house music song but it it's um it's a song how did it go? It's like you are everything that I've been waiting for, and 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 I'll give it all to you. Everything I do, everything I do is for you. It's only for you. That's what I'm getting. Uh, these words, these. Uh, yeah, see, everything I do is only for you. See, they have a it's timid love. It is a new creation. It's a new venture. It's a new relationship. Everything I do yet is, is for you, only for you. Yeah, death. Changing old patterns of behavior. Changing the way, handle money. Healing rifts and avoiding ego as well. Um, cooperation and peace. It's um, someone's trying to do a background check on someone. Um, something happened here that shouldn't have happened. Like it was... Um, Someone could have interfered. We have the Queen of Wands. Someone could have gone to war in a way. It was like some, some kind of interference. We have, yeah, I, I feel here there was someone, it could be female, male, trying to uh, throw some spatter in the works for something that was moving forward. So the King of Swords here, there could either be a female, if you're dealing with a male, that have cancer, maybe air in their chart, but there could have been a Scorpio that was interfering trying to interfere, something like that. Um, <coughs> but that didn't really, <coughs> they were unsuccessful in interfering. So because someone tried to interfere, this person realized, okay, they have to, they have to finalize <coughs> something, sorry, in their life that they could not just, they couldn't move forward with you if they actually had a foot in the door elsewhere because they did notice that someone was upset, someone was interfering and therefore it caused some kind of, some kind of obstacle here based on that. I see work situation is improving. There is someone behind the scenes with the moon here, someone that is like try to do something, try to disturb someone's happiness. But I see here the star, the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. It is two people that is going to move together towards each other, to be together because they want to be together. There is possibly, uh, an, with the lovers, I feel it's on your side, collective, that whilst you've been in hermit, potentially, 
You might not have thought about a certain person. Maybe you thought someone was out of your life. There could have also been some interference on your side. Someone tried to interfere, some kind of chaos happened. Could be a Gemini energy or you are Gemini or something will happen in the season of Gemini. Something about Gemini is significant. Uh, there could be someone younger that was a Virgo. So there was some interference here. Someone thought that, okay, it's dead, done, and over with, um, over this connection. And then as you move forward, someone kept holding on to you. And they didn't come forward and say, oh, I love you. I want to be with you. Please consider me. It was someone doing something behind the scenes that was rather like mean and manipulative instead of actually coming forward. So it was... Someone did not communicate. They did not speak the truth. Okay, so therefore there was a tower moment. Uh, the, it, I'm picking up like it was the person that speak the loudest that kind of did did win in this situation. Um, and 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 now you probably have to speak up. Someone did something in despair, so there could have been a, an obstacle there. But they will they will get. Um, that it will not, uh, let's say, end well in that sense. Someone will be punished for it. Someone could be driven away to jail. Someone could be driven away to the courthouse. I'm picking up. So there's the despair. Someone tried to frantically do something. There is someone here that's in a soulmate connection. Could be with you, Hair Collective, because it's you it's coming up on. And someone here tried something like that was shady in order to affect. So it could be a third party that's affecting the person coming towards you. Um, yeah, so it's that kind of a third party situation. But here you have expectations, thoughts. I feel like um, it could have to do with the child as well. Uh, you know, uh, it's like some someone tried to do something behind the scenes that was shady to try to stop something before it happened. Because when this connection come together, it will be very sort of it will be announced. Then two people know that okay, well they they will tell you okay, I have. You know, maybe this situation happened. I need to make you aware and you will make them aware. I see two people coming together to tell each other, you know, uh, get to know each other, but also tell each other the life story. So it's kind of known when you two get together, there will be no one that is able to come in between you because someone saw you get close to someone. Someone's trying to intervene so that you do not get close to this person. But that's impossible because, again, uh, it's quite um, significant love. Uh, soulmate union twin flame union is very like a powerful feelings between two people that not even someone in despair someone that is angry will not be able to um let's say stop uh, two people to come come together definitely not so um sorry i just had to check i had some issues with my my camera so i see here that whoever slowed something down it was good in a way because you've been doing some thinking about you know perhaps someone you know who was wearing a mask you're gonna find out you you have a time map for someone from someone that was wearing a mask here and you also uh, will sort out your own feelings i do see that when you two get together uh, again it will be the right timing you will be very happy um it is two people that want to to be together okay uh it's excitement so it was worth the it was worth the separation in some ways, uh, I'm seeing. Like, I just feel like it's very powerful. This is two people that, someone is single here. I feel that, that you, if you have two people or if there was someone you were moving away from, I feel that you are sure now, you're very sure about where you're heading. You are sure of your emotions. Anything else for the collective? Mm. Yeah, feeling independent, grateful, accomplished. So this tower, it was an unexpected upheaval. It was unwanted changes. It wasn't a divine intervention. I feel this was someone that was jealous. So if you're a female, uh, well, this could be a, a female that's very angry. Um, here, this could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries that was very angry. Uh, this could be a male as well, someone that was very cool, cold, distant. So something happened, Some, something happened based on a couple arguing, uh, okay. There will be a, after a big change, there will be good news actually coming here. There is someone planning, 
They know that this ending will not last forever. They're planning something. There is hope, renewal, faith, healing. So this could be a, a Aquarius or Scorpio that you're dealing with that is coming forward. There is an end to a third party and someone will be facing a third party and be very honest and say, look, this me and you will not move forward here. So there could be Libra, someone have, there's a, an ending to a relationship uh, and, and someone is dealing with a situation. And I feel that this person is speaking to that person they are possibly hurting, but that they're dealing with it. I do see someone dealing with someone in a mature way, whereas I feel here someone was just sort of looking, following someone, and instead of uh, speaking about it, they kind of interfered. So what happened was that they involved other people and the other groups. So it was someone's anger suddenly was affected by, uh, you know, affected, you know, uh, people that shouldn't be affected and so on. So I see someone is dealing with that. They are pausing. Uh, that that behavior uh, anything else on this person that is showing up for the collective okay so someone here could, could have a child or there is something about a message that didn't reach you as well something just happened um out of the blue yeah there was something to do with gossip yeah someone here libra was very angry they 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 released these birds and they said go 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 and attack my person go make sure they go down okay make sure that someone is out in the cold make sure that they will suffer make sure that they have burdens because someone didn't take their apology or there was no is it yeah so there is someone someone is angry with someone there's two people angry with each other i'm seeing a relationship going there's a relationship that's ended and two people going, moving into their life, like uh, everyday life. So I feel the person that is coming towards you, someone that did not deal or foresee that someone's anger about them moving on will probably affect, let's say, the feelings they have for you. So this person caught feelings for you. So then they, this person just wanted someone to blame. So they blame it on you, for instance. And this person tried to cause like all these obstacles for this person ideally, but it's affecting you as well. So something about the truth surrounding this will come up. And now this person is seeing exactly what happened and that they were you know, they should have said the truth. They shouldn't have, um, someone here shouldn't have just ignored the damage someone could do because I see someone it's like more than jealousy like they could also affect a child they have it's like someone that is relentless someone that isn't thinking straight or they're thinking about okay they want to they're angry they're, they want to ruin something for someone so it's almost like a, an argument between a couple uh, that sort of it's hitting <laughs> hitting the road okay so it's causing problem for many people so it could hit affect someone's work, it could affect someone's, again, child, uh, and, and yeah, so it's, it has to do with someone have ended a, a relationship, but this person they have ended a relationship with, they are saying, oh, you know, you, this was premature, you shouldn't have left me, so, but because now they have fallen in love with, supposedly, this is you, as someone is saying, no, you need a timeout, you can't move forward, and because they didn't listen, they, they caused, there was some kind of blackmail, there was some kind of he ha around it where they said oh if you don't do as i say i will do this that and the other so i see that was delayed because they didn't have a handle on the situation someone reacted really badly to ending a relationship i see this person moved forward feeling calm cool and collected but a person that's behind the scenes their ex did not take they they did they did not feel the same way so whilst this person moved on this person was behind has been behind the scenes just causing havoc affecting their finances whatnot they're doing something about gossip so yeah but i see now okay that's the end of that now there is a possibility for this person to speak the truth it is two people coming together and, and saying okay this actually happened it's kind of not ignoring the elephant in the room yeah so someone is taking the leap and they're saying look actually this happened uh, please hear me out uh, I feel here this okay I had an ex this person did that I shouldn't have just presumed that so they're being honest to you what happened 
Yeah, you are the empress. So this person, they feel you are their destiny. You have a telepathic connection, a very strong uh, telepathic connection, I would say. I'm picking up Pisces, Aries in this reading. Gemini as well is here. Gemini, double confirmation of Gemini, maybe Leo, Taurus as well. But someone's going to like come clean, basically. They're going to say, okay, actually this happened. So because they are going to tell you what happened, whatever it is they're going to tell you and it's going to make sense to you collective so uh and uh, and then as you receive these news and see this information you feel like oh there's something about you like oh gosh i wasn't going crazy i wasn't imagining thing you know this person had feelings i was seeing you know i was seeing that so, so I do feel though, there is a situation, there is still a situation where someone could try to, there's someone around you here. Okay, so there's another situation. Okay, what is this about collective, for the collective? What is this timeout? What is this, um, the emperor, why is this here? Okay, so you could have someone, so you, your feelings for someone here, it's a soulmate. Someone that's coming in, I feel it's quite new. Yeah, it's uh, someone who manifested. They could be Gemini. This is someone quite new. Then, okay, then there is someone from the past, someone else that is coming into you. It's like a new person. I feel this person is coming in to ask you for a relationship. But because, because here you are starting a relationship with someone else, you're going to turn this person down. There is someone here you will turn down. I feel you know know who you love. There is someone here that have actually caused something in the past. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. They caused something in the past and you will just say no. Uh, but I think also you don't have feelings for this person anymore. Yeah, someone here goes to you based on, you know, a third party or whatnot. They never explain it to you. It's like a few situation here, you know. Uh, why is the devil and the queen of pentacles here? Why is that here? Yeah, someone that goes to do for someone else because otherwise they would have got caught cheating. Yeah, caught cheating. So it's two situations then here. Yeah. You will turn this person down. So what is this, uh, this two of cups and the lovers? What is that about here? It's someone you've manifested. Um, yeah, someone that's meant to be is destined. Um, yeah, this is, this is happening here. This is the emperor. I feel there's two people around, you know, there's one person here you're turning down and this person won't like it. It's almost like there's a false twin flame. There's a false twin flame uh, on your path. It's definitely, it's a false twin and you are going to see that. You're going to get the proof here. So who is this emperor? Yeah, someone here is gathering information about you. They are on a distance. They are planning slowly but surely to come forward. This is someone that have detached themselves fully, completely. They do not have a third party, but I feel there's two situations. There's two situations here. This person have a child. They started an ending. They got very excited. This was, there wasn't, they got really excited um, because then it's, they got excited when meeting you and it did confirm, it has confirmed to them that they are definitely moving on from where they are. But then they got so excited, they did not, um, you know, uh, close a cycle here. And I think that was the problem. But then there's someone else, the same thing happened. And I see that you have decided to, mm -mm. even if they come back, you've decided, no, that's not, that's not gonna happen. It's just the way they handle things. There is someone out of the cold that, are planning to come back into your life here. I feel intuitively you have moved on completely from someone that really want to come back after an ending. Yeah, you have new feelings now. You, most of you, it's, um, you're going to turn someone down, I feel. Uh, there is someone that, yeah, someone that I've hurt you that is, you can't really forgive this person. Okay, is this someone in uh, the collective's, uh, Close surroundings. Who's showing up in there? Close surroundings. Yeah. 
there is someone here that things will come out of the woodworks. Things will be clear. This person is going to make something clear. Yeah. I see this is someone that's going to make something clear. I feel it's a Gemini. Strong Pisces Gemini here. Yeah. There is uh, this person could have earth in their chart as well. There was a delay. Uh, like uh, there, the ending is delayed. I'm picking up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to find another deck here because, okay. What is about this moon in reverse and the magician in upright? Okay, yeah, so it is here the lovers. Okay, there's something about a choice, a decision. Someone thought that their lucky break, okay, someone's lucky, they thought they'll have a lucky break by hiding information from you. Yeah, but they don't. I see that because truth is coming out. Just gonna be someone that wanna work with you, but the truth is coming out. You're back on track. You're back on track where you were supposed to be. Maybe you decided to go towards someone else. You you were leaving someone else, but then something came back around, I feel here. Yeah, so 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 you will stay where you are, like because the answers are coming to you. I feel the answers are coming to you. You will find out about a betrayal. And it has to do with uh, someone that was in a long-term um, relationship. You will find this out. Yeah, you'll find this out. This person has feelings for you. They will invite you out. I feel this is very much in the beginning stages. Uh, yeah, it's something you thought was ending, but it's starting all over again. Something that couldn't be rushed, okay? Yeah, someone is manifesting you, Gemini. So it says here, don't give up on the your dreams. Don't give up on the op like the person that you have feelings for just because it didn't work out the first time. That's what I'm getting. It's like someone wanted you to give up on someone, but then now you are not giving up. Someone tried to sort of remove, uh, pull the carpet uh, away from underneath your feet. Yeah, someone really wanted you to walk away from someone I'm getting. Someone really wanted you to get stuck. Uh, feel like your hands were tied, feel like you couldn't move anywhere. Uh, and this is, uh, yeah, it's not moving forward and you will feel like things are easing up for you. Yeah, I feel that th there is one person that could be quite jealous of you. They wanted to come back to you. This is uh, someone that's been in and out of your life. Uh, I feel this person is going through a nightmare. They don't want to, to lose you, but they still were not able to come forward either. So this person is stressing. They want you to to keep them as one of their options. There is one person like this. Your intentions is not to forgive them. Your intentions is not to go back with them because this person had done something in the past that you can't really forgive. This person is wearing a mask temporary and because of their mask, they are all, you know, they, it's like they are always this false person. They always, uh, there is something about them that is quite dark. And I think you know who that person is. This person is someone you have to release. I feel this is a false twin. This person has to be released fully from your life because they are very, very toxic and you know it. They could possibly, uh, you know, ruin something with a new person. They are like a, they're like poison. There is someone here that is like poison and they will just turn up whenever you feel happy or something. They're trying to intervene here. And right now you have a new beginning. You are moving forward like in a complete new direction. It's just someone here is like jumping on the wheel. So 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 keep a, a lookout for this person. I don't really see this person. They can't really do that much, okay? Uh, I see that you, yeah, this, the, the clouds are clearing for you. You, if someone kind of came into your life because you maybe lost someone or you were stuck somewhere and you're like, oh, maybe it's, this could be even a job, a friend or someone is like, oh, maybe I should give this person another chance. But it's like everything that you thought was, you know, true, it is actually true. You will get that proof. So gather a little more information. Uh, the advice is do not move forward because like don't take drink poison, basically. Don't drink poison because something isn't working out with the person you have feelings for.
Don't spend too much time in despair. Move through uh, the emotions and release it. You will be blessed with more than you could ever imagine. You are currently under construction. Please be patient. You are going to master your material reality in the future. Yeah, see here, be careful who you take advice from. And we have also learned when to say no, avoid clutter, slow down and quiet your mind. That's important at this time. And learn how to honor and treat your body well. A new career path will be highly successful. Trust the magic of newness. So collective, interesting reading. Please like, subscribe, uh, share the video and uh, I will see you soon. Sending you so much love.